Hey everybody, Sean McInnes here, joined by Herman Holst from Gorilla, who's here to tell us all about Killzone 3. He's just treated a room of very eager Killzone fans to a demo of the game, some currently wearing 3D glasses, some not. Herman, that's the big news with Killzone 3, right? The game playable in 3D? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a great addition to the Killzone experience. It's, uh, you know, we've, we've always been a franchise that tried to create the, the biggest sense of immersion possible. We tried to do that by creating very believable worlds, full of effects, great animations in it, etc. 3D is an extra layer on top of that, that really helps it a lot. But it's not the only announcement today, right? We talked about a lot of variety and I think that's really the focus point for, for this game. We're creating a brand new experience, a lot more alien world with these incredible enemies. Um, you know, we've, we've got you exploring the home planet of our, of our enemy uh, this time around in, in a lot of different settings, each with their own unique experiences, and that's probably the focal point of it. Killzone 2 was such a technical marvel when it came out last year. I don't imagine that following that up would be an easy feat, but yet you guys are still trying to improve it, make it bigger, make it better. What are some examples of the way that you're really trying to expand the scope of Killzone 3? Um, well, we're trying to make a bigger game in less time, so <laughs> there's the pressure for it. Um, I think we're, we're using what was great in Killzone 2 and, you know, let, let's say the, the lean and peak system, the, the hit responses from the enemies, uh, some of these things, and improving them a lot. And on top of that, we're creating a wide variety of new experiences, you know, new enemies, bigger enemies, uh, you know, a lot of vehicles in there as well that I can't really say too many details about right now. Uh, there's 3D, so it's, it's a massively ambitious game that also actually goes for multiplayer that we'll be talking about later too. Now, uh, it seems like variety is one of the big themes to the game, at least from the demo that you showed us. You're going to a lot of different places in Helga, and, and you know, there's a lot more enemy types. Can you give us uh, a, a taste of what sort of uh, places that we're going to see and some of these new hell, Hellgas that we're going up against? So, you know, in the game, in terms of the, uh, uh, the environments, you're going to be going through the nuclear wastelands. There's going to be very alien-looking jungle, very terrifying. Uh, there is going to be an arctic setting, uh, you know, lo lots of icebergs. Uh, eventually, the finale of the game, you're going to be sent up into space. Uh, but even in terms of the variety within this level that's on demo today, you know, you're wielding a minigun on top of an intruder. Uh, then there's some standard running gun gameplay, uh, kills in two style with a rifle. Uh, you're going to be, and then you run into a, a great new enemy, uh, jetpack troopers. Uh, you take these guys down, you actually pick up a trooper, strap it on, ready for some aerial combat. And then in terms of variety, you know, you pick up a wasp gun, which is what I call a portable weapon of mass destruction, to really go all out. So that's just, you know, in the constraints of one single level, that variety. All right, Herman, looks good. One very last question for you. Yeah. Uh, when do you expect Killzone 3 to be out available in stores? Any idea quite yet? I expect it to be out next calendar year, so it's 2011. Sometime in 2011. That'll do for now. Thank you very much, Herman. That'll do for your look at Killzone 3. Stay tuned for more coverage leading up to 2011.